Spatial disorientation is the lead killer of pilots. More than mechanical failures, fires and medical emergencies. It's caused crashes of naval aviators and airline pilots alike. So regardless of what you fly, spatial disorientation is critical to understand. Let's first define spatial disorientation. Spatial disorientation is defined as a variety of incidences occurring in flight in which the pilot fails to sense correctly the position, motion or attitude of the aircraft or of themselves within the fixed coordinate system provided by the surface of the Earth and the gravitational vertical. Ice flags is an acronym that highlights some common illusions. Let's have a look at each of them. An inversion illusion is an optical illusion that can result in spatial disorientation. This is caused by an abrupt change from climb to straight and level flight, which can excessively stimulate the sensory organs for gravity and linear acceleration. This gives the illusion of tumbling backward. The Coriolis illusion is caused by making a quick head movement during a constant rate turn that has ceased stimulating the inner ear. The most common occurrence of this is a pilot making a timed 180 degree turn for one minute and dropping a pen or approach plate. This stirs up the fluid in the inner ear. When the pilot comes back up, he feels as though he is straight and level. It is best to avoid abrupt head movements while under IFR. The elevator illusion can occur on a turbulent day and updraft could cause extreme vertical acceleration. The pilot then proceeds to nose over the aircraft. This illusion also has the opposite effect with downdrafts. Although intense, this illusion usually happens at higher altitudes. A false horizon can be caused by city lights, clouds, stars and darkness it causes the pilot to believe that it is the horizon. The leans happen when you enter a banked turn too slowly. For example, if you don't roll quickly enough into a left turn, the fluid in your ears won't start moving and your brain thinks you're still straight and level. If you correct your wings back to level flight abruptly, your ears and your brain think they're banking in the opposite direction to the right. This makes you feel like you need to roll the aeroplane back to the left or lean your body in that direction to be upright. The autokinetic effect, also referred to as autokinesis, is a phenomenon of visual perception in which a stationary small point of light in an otherwise dark or featureless environment appears to move. The graveyard spiral can occur if you stay in a turn long enough, the fluid in your ears stop moving. As you return to level flight, you feel like you've turned in the opposite direction and you return back to the original turn. Because aeroplanes lose altitude in a turn unless you add back pressure, the aeroplane starts descending. Because you think you're in a wings level descent, you pull back on the yoke. But what really happens is you tighten the spiral turn and lose even more altitude. The somatographic illusion can occur when you accelerate quickly. The otolith organs in your ears think you are pitching the nose up. This makes you want to push the nose of your plane forward and you enter a nose low dive attitude. The opposite is true for rapid deceleration. As you slow down, you feel like you're pitching forward and you tend to pitch up into a nose high stall attitude.